Hello Armut, this is Tor. Uh, last year I made four or five videos about my offensive playbooks that I ran and everyone seemed to like them pretty well so I'm gonna do that same thing this year. Uh, this year I'm running the Cardinals playbook. It's I think one of the better playbooks. I first tried the Falcons, now I'm at the Cardinals. I think it's pretty good. My head-to-head -head record is 46 and 17 right now. Uh, I'm an all-pro first. I played a lot of head-to-head -head, and I think I know it's you know what's going on in the meta right now. So first things first, I'm going to show you uh, how I run the Cardinals book. So first thing is the split close, gun split close. It's the most used offensive formation in the game. And it's most used because it's one of the hardest things to stop. And I will show you what I run. So I only run really two plays in this formation. The power O, which is just a run. I would recommend either bouncing to the far outside or going inside, you know. Uh, and then close halfback wheel which is very hard to stop. Now let's just take uh, a cover two to show you what, why you run this play. Now the reason you run this play more than any is, uh, I will also, I'm gonna show you the adjustments. The only adjustment I make every single time is a slant circle like that. That's the formation I, I come out in this every first play of the game, this is my play. Now the reason you run this play mostly is because if your opponent comes out in cover two, it's a touchdown. And the reason I say that is this, watch, watch, watch the post. And you wait, and you wait, and you throw the post right when he comes up field, and he, beats, he he splits the defense. And that's why you run this play. Now, this play is also good because uh, uh, you, you can do this against all defenses that aren't playing underneath. Or man, even against man sometimes it works. R1, you have that open as well against most defenses. Uh, if, let's say they're running a cover three. Again, uh, it doesn't want to save my play. Does it want to save my play? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Uh, if they're running a cover three, let's say, let's just pick that for example, you have multiple things open. First things first is you still have R1 open against cover three. Easily, easy, and more yards in cover three than, any, in, than uh, cover two. But you also have, you can still also hit the, the post still. If you wait for that guy to come down a little bit, like right there, you gotta throw it right when he makes his break in the middle or that safety will intercept it. It's a much riskier throw with cover three. So if you see the one safety, make sure you only throw this post if you know how to do it. But the cool thing about cover three is if you wait a sec, X will get open if he beats once he beats that that, that linebacker. Once he gets behind that linebacker, you can throw that and it's pretty much guaranteed. He can't intercept you. But the problem is a lot of times he'll get bumped. See how he gets bumped? X gets bumped. You gotta wait for him to get past the bump and then throw it and then there you go. Um, that will work against cover four as well. And again, you still have R1 always open. So you can just keep running this and th keep throwing R1. You can just throw to R1 all day. And when they finally adjust to R1, then you throw to the other stuff. Uh, okay, next play. Uh, I run, uh, I really run just like three formations in this whole book, maybe four. So other than Gunsplit Close, I run this formation, which is ace, off ace slot offset. Um, PA po posts is the, the play I run mostly in this formation. And the reason is it's like the best play in the game. Now, if we're just gonna, we're just going to show you against the, a cover two to start off with. Um, again, you don't even have to make any adjustments. First things first against cover two, triangles open, and you can kind of cut up field. And if you break a tackle, you get five, six yards every single time. But also, the reason this play is really good is watch square. Right, right when square makes his in cut, right now. Oh, I got hit. I hate everything. Crap. <laughs> in practice mode, the offensive line for some reason does not want to work. At, at all. Okay, we gotta wait. Wait, wait, wait. Right when he makes his in cut. In, in cut. See how see how I'm, I go in front of the safety like that? Yeah, that's almost impossible to use her, and it's always open. It beats everything. Uh, man will play it a little bit better, but if you, you just got a possession catch. Make sure you hold X when you're doing it. Now, when they start to use her that, you have some options. R1 is a huge option. This little underneath route right here. Most people that you play online will start to use that route first, and that's, they'll use the R1 route first. Then when you hit them with this, the, the square route, enough, once he makes that in cut, you throw it. Uh, once you do that enough, they'll start to try to get out there and try to stop that, and then you can hit them with the old, this thing. And then you hit, you, hit, have, you need to have a running back who can catch. But you get the point. Uh, also, uh, against cover three, you'll have circle open late. I don't know about cover two. Let's see about cover two. Nope, see cover two, it's covered, but that's open still, see? Uh, here, I can show you it with cover, against cover three. Again, posts, recent plays, which is gonna even, there it is, posts, formation, nickel, cover three. 
Now against the cover three, you still have triangle open. Triangle is even more open. Again, the flats are more open against cover three. So you always want to hit the, if you see them in cover three and they're not adjusting, hit, hit the flats always. Uh, but again, you'll still have, and you still have the square. It's still open against cover three. It's even better against cover three. Um, and then the best part is uh, you have circle two, which is right there. And there you go. You hold X and you get that too. You also, okay. And also, so I can't show you it in practice mode because it doesn't seem to want to work, but I'm telling you in head to head in Mutt, X on this play will beat man. I don't know why it won't work in uh, practice mode. Uh, look, I'll show you, it just doesn't work. It, it could be because this is on simulation and practice, I mean, and head to heads on competitive mode. Like, but why? Like, look, look, look. Did I not pick, I didn't pick man, I'm an idiot. One second, again, all in one take, I'm streaming this. I don't have a, uh, you know, a way of editing this very well. So I'm not editing, I'm just doing this all in one take. You're gonna watch me pick plays. Posts, formation, nickel, man. Here, here's man. W watch what happens. So you still, R1 will always beat man. Watch R1. R1 will destroy man pretty much, all, always. It, you get the point. It, it beats man, um, depending on how fast your running back is and how fast their linebacker is. But X normally does beat man, but it won't do it in this. Right when he makes that cut, you're supposed to throw it, and he's supposed to beat him, but it just doesn't work in this practice mode. It does work on head-to-head. -head. Okay, now that I've shown you that, I'm going to show you the one run my, my, my number one run I ran out of this book, which is actually the run that, that this play audibles out of, called Inside Zone. It's very good, and I'll show you why it's very good. If we just come out against a, a run defense, if you bounce to the outside like this and then cut a field right here, it's 10 yards every single time until they start, until they start using it. Here, I'll flip it. Um, you Bouncing outside in this game is better than going up the middle, mostly because receivers will hold their block longer than they probably should. In practice mode, again, they don't seem to want to do it as much. Uh, but on on head to head, I just I get ten yards. Or, oh, look like that. See how that receiver held inside, and I went right around. Yeah, you can just spam that all day on, on head to head, and it really really works. You can also go inside, but it's just not as much yards. Um, okay, now that I've done those, shown you those plays, there's only a couple plays left. I uh, I run uh, one more. I run two more formations. One that I'm experimenting with right now. I'll show you the one that I know know works, which is Gun, gun, it's gun halfback strong. It's it's gun bunch weak, but not gun bunch weak. It's gun bunch halfback strong. It's like a reverse halfback weak where the running backs on the opposite side from last year. Um, and you basically run Z spot, which if I have to show you how to do this, you probably never played Madden before, but I will show you. Uh, you slant circle, circle like that. You you hit X like an underneath route again against cover two, cover three, cover four, cover anything but hard flats. Um, but the real reason you run this route is for the square route, because that beats a lot of stuff. If you wait for him to go up and then turn left and you don't get hit, he'll be open. Uh, here, I'll show it to you when I don't get hit. Come on, block. There we go. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for him to come up and then you throw and then he's open. See? Me, if he, again, practice mode, he doesn't, no one captures anything, but you get the point. Uh, again, this is, this is something that when you get to the higher tiers of head-to-head, -head, they're going to start to, see, like right there, see? Um, they're going to start to use that because they'll obviously know you're doing it. So having an understanding that you have a slant coming over as a decoy is really great. Like, see, the slant's a decoy, and it's open against cover two, cover three. Um, I really haven't run out of this formation. I just run that play like once a game just to confuse my opponent. Now, the one more formation I want to show is something that is in a lot of books, and I, I think it's going to be good in not just the Cardinals book, but other books. It's called, I think, Wing Stack. Wing Stack. And I run the, a play called... Uh, PA power O. Now this play again. This is experimentation. So this is this is the part of the video where you can click off if you don't want to. You don't care about you know experimenting. Here we go. So um, dragging R dragging R one should get. But do you see if I hold the right trigger how my left guard is pulling weirdly? Now I want you to watch the their 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 tackle. I mean their defensive tackle. Watch what happens. He comes for untouched. And then and then the running back picks it up. <laughs> see that. You're supposed to hit square basically on a on a on a zig, um, kind of like the same thing we've been showing you, where it beats all the zones because it goes behind them and things draw it away. But watch again. The the right guard pulls and the running back picks up the block. But because the running back's picking up the block, 
at, how everything comes at you. And I just found that really weird as a pass play. Like, this is a really good, this is a pass play I ran last year in the Browns book, but there was no pulling guard. This year, the guard pulls, and then, oh, hey, look, I'm getting nanoed. See that? And then the running back comes and picks it up. I don't know. I just thought that was interesting to show. Also, the uh, the run that's like this isn't bad because it, because it um, you, you get a lot of forward momentum and you get a lot of good blocks. Uh, but I don't know. It's just it was just something I wanted to show. And that's about it. I, I really just run those plays. Uh, you know, I, obviously, I'm not including uh, like, you know, QB sneak. And I, I, I run some power. I run some, you know, like there's like a here, I'll show you. Once in a while, in like the goal line situations, I will run. Uh, I form tight, just to just to, you know, it's just like a strong run play, or yeah, it's strong tight, and then it's power O, right? Or I'll run or I'll run the F back dive just to get some yards. Uh, and single back, the counter is fine, but I find that people who are good at the game completely destroy it. Uh, it's not as good as it was last year. Let me put it that way. I will say uh, there is a play in Ace. O Gun ace offset, gun ace slot offset. I can't speak. Called uh, X spot, where it's got a really weird tight end t tight end post. Now again, I'm not going to move the ball, but you could hypothetically slant through this. This is a goal as a goal line high po high point to triangle when he makes that cut like this. It, but for the goal line, this is not for the like where we are on the field. Um, because of because of how hard the cut here, I'll I'll move the ball. It's fine. I don't really care. At this point, if you've st stuck along long enough, you know that uh, I'm not editing. So right there, you know. I like the goal line. If you can't run the ball in, I think this works. Again, this is just an experimentation for me. But if I do this, like that, see how that works? That's a touchdown. Uh, you, you can throw it over the, that linebacker that's there. Because it's, it, it, because it's such a short like route like that, you can just do that for a touchdown. And I've been running that like for the last 10, 15 games. It's been working pretty good. So, and that's uh, about it. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, shout out to the Reddit. Uh, this is mostly for you guys. And uh, talk to see you guys next time.